Alrighty, so we have an exciting Yukon Striker construction update for you guys today. Um, we're going to go over some really interesting things. The first one is the queue line. So as you can see in this construction photo sent to me by Grace, um, you can see that it enters underneath the turnout of the station and it goes somewhat underground and we miss this in the animation. So if you look to the bottom right of the animation, you can actually see the portion where it'll be underground somewhat. Um, so we're expecting some pretty awesome theming for the queue line. It's supposed to go underground for a portion that'll then bring you on over to the right side of the um, holding area. So and then the switchbacks for the queue line will be over there. If you look at this photo, the support structure is up for the remainder of the Immelman and the Immelman in near the back north side of the park will be finished very shortly. In fact, I'm expecting this thing to be done probably today. Um, again, this coaster should be done by next week. So if you look here, the elevator is obviously working. That's really cool. So this photo was sent to me by Grace as well. Um, the elevator is all the way at the top. That was really cool to see. So they are moving really quickly with this coaster now. Again, they're aiming to be done this by Friday by the looks of things and what we're hearing. Um, so as you can tell, um, we have interesting news coming out of Wonderland's blog today. Um, it looks like the portion right after the vertical loop is actually going to house some theming and you're going to travel through a mine shaft um, before you hit the Immelman and head on over to the MCBR. That's really cool. So this coaster is getting more and more unique the more we learn. And I'm hearing we're going to learn even more come the new year. There's a lot about Frontier Canada and Yukon Striker that has not yet been announced. I can tell you, though, that it'll be themed to Dawson City in the Yukon. Um, it'll be the Gold Rush era, and you're going to have some extraordinary theming on Yukon Striker. The speakers at the top of the lift hill are not yet being announced what they're for. Um, the park didn't comment on what they were for when we were there. And uh, the queue line's uh, turning out to be more themed than expected. Frontier Canada is going to be some sort of educational experience, keyword experience. And yeah, I'm just really excited to see what Canada's Wonderland has in store for Yukon Striker. I couldn't be more excited. This is really turning out to be interesting. As you can tell down there, the Helix is turning on in underneath the airtime hill and heading into the brake run. Um, again, this footage was shot yesterday. We'll have more footage that was shot today out tomorrow. Um, so by the time you guys view this tomorrow, the Helix might be nearing completion. I'm guessing another two to four pieces will be installed by tomorrow. All the support structures are in for the Helix. And I'm guessing um, when you see this tomorrow, the Immelman will either be three quarters complete or complete. Who knows? Um, again, they usually only do about two to four track pieces um, per day per crane again. So you have one crane doing the Helix, one crane doing the Immelman. So it's about two to four pieces on each side. Um, depending on weather and weight and supports that are needed for that area. It all comes down to that. Um, there's, I'm trying to think if there was anything else to share. There's nothing going on over at Mindbuster, just a bunch of holes, uh, a bunch of wood and bricks stacked next to it. I'm assuming the wood and bricks is actually for Frontier Canada and the station and not for Mindbuster. Um, nothing to report on Mindbuster in terms of what's going on yet. All I can say is if you watch the interview, you learned that Frontier Canada and uh, is in phase one of its expansion, and that tells you a lot. And uh, I want you guys to start remembering and thinking back to how Mindbuster was supposed to be the star attraction of Frontier Canada. And I think in its current form, it's nowhere near that. And I think uh, we should be keeping an eye, our eyes out um, on Mindbuster for a 2021 kind of revamp. That's going to be my prediction right now. I don't have any inside information on that. That is literally just me predicting um, as it aligns with the anniversary. And it'll be a good middle ground for the expansion of Frontier Canada. Um, anyways, I'm trying to think if there was anything else from the interview, the tour, um, and stuff going on on the site. So we know they are working in the station area. It's going to be a steel frame. It's going to look like a mine um, kind of fort, I guess, like a fort type mineshaft thing. Um, I think the animation was pretty close to what it's actually going to end up being, which is really cool. Can't wait to see that. Um, the tunnel, based off of what I'm seeing, I don't think it's going to have any lighting effects. I think it might have some fog or mist effects, and that's it. I didn't see any signs of electrical that would have hinted at anything else going down in the tunnel. You're going to be down there for literally one second, so I don't see why they would need to theme it. Um, but I'm really happy with the theming announcement from the blog uh, after the vertical loop. I think that's going to be really cool. There's going to be a lot of head shoppers on this ride, and it's very unique. Anyways, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this construction update today. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.